Catherine Gibson for AAM Insight. Nigeria has recently seen a renewal in religiously motivated violence, when Muslims in the north and Christians in the south battling each other in and around Jos, the city at the center of tensions. Today I'll speak about the conflict in Nigeria with Imam Talal Eid and Dave Detoni of the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for taking us on your show. Thank you morning. so much. The recent killings in Nigeria are part of a larger cycle of violence in a long-standing religious conflict. Can you give us a sense of how long it's been going on and why you're so concerned about it? First, you have the government. Uh, the government uh, is not able to respond to sectarian violence. Whenever there is an event, uh, people are arrested, and I, and I know that security forces respond arrest people, but after that they are released. So no serious efforts to prosecute uh, th those who uh, participate in sectarian violence. As a result, y y you see the issue of revenge now. People are taking the law by hand. Now adding to that, you, you have the issue of uh, oh, nine states at least, uh, if not 12. Uh, the 12 declared Sharia law. And, and of course, for the Christians, when they see Muslims are trying to implement Sharia law, of course, it means they are disregarding them, which is a, a serious uh, problem. So there are two areas here that people, that the government need to work on. For, first, prosecution. These, those who caused sectarian violence need to be prosecuted. And then efforts of dialogue to remove the tension between the Muslims and the Christians. Mr. Detoni, you were recently there in Nigeria. What was your impression on the ground of the conflict? What did you see when you were there? Oh, well, we, we drove through the city of Jos uh, mm -hmm. back in October, and uh, uh, it's quite startling. Just, you know, churches burned to the ground, uh, mosques torched. Um, places where where uh, uh, people thought or knew a, a Muslim lived or a Christian lived were just burned to the ground. So both sides now are are uh, are so uh, ready for a fight that it doesn't take much to set it off, and then it's out of control. And and the only way maybe to prevent it is some of the methods that uh, the Imam was just talking about uh, more more uh, conflict or conflict dialogue and. An intentional dialogue at the local level with religious leaders and leaders, uh, the community civil leaders. Now, is part of the problem the way ha of the, how the law in Nigeria interacts with either a Muslim or a Christian? I know Muslims, Nigerian Muslims, um, are banned from some government positions because they're not considered Christian settlers or indigies. And I know that the Christians in the South are concerned about the spread of Sharia law. Um, how does this contribute to the violence and the growing resentment and the overall feeling of, you know, we're not all in this together in the government of Nigeria? Well, I, I have, I, I noticed more cases in the north mm -hmm. uh, than in, in the south. It is true that in, in the south we see, we see cases, but we do not uh, hear of sectarian violence. In, in the north where Muslims uh, predominant, mm -hmm. y you see more incidents and uh, and uh, there is th there are efforts about through uh, Nairac and where the Sultan of Kosoto Kosoto Sokoto Sokoto and uh, the Archbishop of Abuja you know mm -hmm. they formed a, a committee 25 Christians 25 Muslims th there are efforts there is no doubt but these efforts unless the government would step up and set the rules and train the police. This is something we were recommending, that security uh, police need to be trained to handle sectarian violence. So is that a concern that the growth of Sharia is going to encourage extremist activity in Nigeria? Look, let me tell you, any, now, Nigeria, Christians and Muslims are partners. Mm -hmm. Any attempt to introduce religious solution to the life of the Nigerians will end up in more tension between the two groups. 
I know as a Muslim, I know that the, the concept of, uh, of applying punishment of theft is just to discourage uh, more thefts. And that concept can be applied in fine, can be applied in posing fine, can be applied in imprisonment. But why, why in a country where there are Muslims and the Christians, why do you need to bring religious terms? This is my question. And I say that this is not needed uh, uh, at all. People like bring the term of Sharia law to use it as a political tools. There, I do not see honesty uh, in, in that. Rather, people need to come up with common terms so that they can live together peacefully and then turn their efforts together to solve, uh, uh, to solve social problems that, that we see it in Nigeria clearly. That's the problem of poverty and resources and so on. Now, I know your commission recently recommended that the U.S. government find that Nigeria is a country of particular concern. I'd like to know what that means in practical terms. What, uh, does that give the U.S. government more access to helping solve this problem? What does it do? I think it could uh, raise the level of, of engagement with our government on these issues. And we've seen some positive uh, um, statements from uh, Secretary Clinton <coughs> and from our embassy. Uh, from, from leaders around the world after this latest incident, but that's, that's not enough. Uh, this, this, this category of uh, CPC was created in order for governments to make sure that this issue uh, would, would stay on the plate in our bilateral relations. Mm -hmm. and, and we recommended, I think, a, a, a nuanced uh, recommendation that, that, uh, that our government enter into negotiations with the Nigerians, mm -hmm. uh, into an agreement uh, in which a, a series of benchmarks would be created, and, and as well with those benchmarks, uh, you know, included in that are prosecutions, but, in, but included in, in that sort of a stern, punitive, you know, uh, label of a CPC is uh, also a whole pot of, of, of goodies, if you will, of incentives, of saying, okay, yeah, we, we, we recognize there's a problem, we're gonna put you on this bad list with countries like Saudi Arabia and North Korea, but, but here are all these positive recommendations, and we're, we're, we will want to try to offer you technical assistance to, to get there, mm -hmm. to, to reform and to start implementing um, um, reforms at, at a legal level, at a policing level, uh, at, a, at, a, at a military level, if you want, to, 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 to combat uh, this, this um, extremism, violent extremism, mm -hmm. uh, and, and to uh, do it in a way that you're not just rolling into town and, and, and shooting anything that moves. Now, you've mentioned the list of recommendations that you'd like to see the Nigerian government carry out. Can you give me maybe two or three that you think are realistic, can realistically be implemented in the next year or so? I can think of, maybe David can add more mm -hmm. to that. I think I can think of two things. Mm -hmm. Prosecution, that we, we need the government to prosecute those who, who are uh, committing or involved in sectarian violence. Training of, of, of the police. This I see them as number one. Number two, that there is, there is an, an already a committee for, on religious affairs. And, and their job is, is to look at the issue of imams and interfaith. Mm -hmm. Imams need to be trained how to communicate, how to deliver their service. I don't know if that thing will be implemented, but on the other side, this committee is in charge of interfaith dialogue. They are not doing enough, if they are doing something. And so the religious leaders who, who, are, who, are, who, are, who want to bring peace to their country and reconciliation to their country, they need to be empowered, and they need to be empowered to bring us down to outside of a, just a, beyond a, a regional level, but down into a local level so that so communities that aren't speaking to each other now and don't have relationships, particularly with the religious leaders, because the religious leaders in Nigeria are very important mm -hmm. in the community. If, if, they can, if they can work together, then that may be a, a big step.